This is interesting. Um, the former Fox News host, Eric Balling, now is a host on Newsmax. He recently condemned Fox News for requiring vaccination or testing. Media Matters covered this. And it's very interesting because of Eric Balling's history with Fox News, which we're going to get to. So let's actually just get right to the clip. Uh, here's Eric's Balling, Eric Balling condemning the, the vaccination policy of his former employer. Well, I, I don't need Neil Cavuto to tell me of what I should be doing for vac vaccinations. I can do that for myself. I'm back. Now, we've covered the Neil Cavuto thing. If you don't know what he's talking about, Neil Cavuto is like the lone voice on Fox News saying, please get vaccinated, please get vaccinated. Cavuto got covid despite being vaccinated. He's immunocompromised. He has multiple sclerosis. He had heart surgery, et cetera. OK, so. They're go Eric Bolling's going after Cavuto. I tell my my audience that I'm vaccinated, but I'm against the mandate part of it. Fox says and Neil Cavuto says, you know, we're, we're against mandates, too. But Fox itself has a mandate. You can't get into twelve hundred Sixth Avenue unless you are vaccinated or you're willing to take a test every mm -hmm. day. And by the way, True. that means all those cameramen, all those lighting people, all those sound people can't do their job. So in essence, it actually doesn't mean that. It actually means that everybody is safer because they've either been vaccinated or tested. Since it's just as onerous as the vaccine mandate that de Blasio has. But yet you won't hear that. Look, Sean Hannity is one of my closest friends in the world, and he calls it straight. That's a red flag. Tucker sometimes is, has issues, but but people like Cavuto who's telling me that I should be vaccinated and then turns around and and says, you know, we're against vaccine mandates, yet his own company and Neil's an executive vice president of, of, of Fox, but his own company demands <laughs> that of, of the other employees. What gymnastics? Balling's like, I'm vaccinated and I'm for vaccination and so's Cavuto, but Cavuto shouldn't be saying it on the air to other people. Not the, not the Neil Cavuto's of the world, but the producers, the associate producers, the camera people. There are a lot of people who are bound by a vaccine mandate that they're going to have to take. Otherwise, they're going to get likely fired because they're not doing their job. Well, or you can get tested. Right. He already said. And then the other issue of this whole idea of we're against the woke culture. They, they blasted Major League Baseball for moving mm -hmm. the All-Star game. Well, that was until they held the All-Star game and Fox Fox, Big Fox. Uh, broadcast the All-Star Game. I haven't really heard them do it this time around because guess where the World Series is being played? It's being played. Half the games are being played in Atlanta. Well, I'm not hearing a lot of the pushback for baseball. If you're thinking he sounds like a disgruntled former employee, you may be onto something. All uh, broadcast on Fox. And so. I would like to anyway, see Eric. I would like yeah, to see it's my own employer. But it, it, and I just want to make this clear. I'm not taking unfair shots at Fox. I'm just calling it like that, like it is. See, I would say the same thing about CNN and MSNBC, mm -hmm. but they clearly admit. Yeah. So listen, I hate to make this about Eric Balling personally, but that word salad made such little sense that I'm wondering if he's just mad that Fox News got rid of him for these horrifying allegations against him. You can you can see the whole story. It's well documented and sourced even just on Wikipedia. Um, it was reported that on a bunch of occasions, Eric Balling sent lewd text messages and pictures to three female colleagues at Fox News and Fox Business Business. He made inappropriate comments to employees. Uh, the article, this was reported by Huffington Post. And then a former Fox News guest, Caroline Heldman, said he made sexual advances against me that were unwanted as well. Balling denied it. He was then suspended from Fox News pending an investigation. A law firm was brought in for the investigation and then Balling filed an intent to sue over that. Um, he never actually ended up suing over the initial Huffington Post article. The Huffington Post stood by the article. Ultimately, uh, Balling was ousted from Fox News, and the report was that it was all amicable, but it is not clear that it was. I hate to make it a personal thing and that this is just a grievance that Eric Balling has against his former employer. But what he said doesn't really make any sense. It makes no sense at all. Uh, it actually makes perfect sense what Fox News is doing in order to reduce the likelihood of people being out because of covid. It's bad for a business if people have to call out sick. It makes sense to say you got to be vaccinated or test out. They are going above and beyond what Joe Biden recommended. So very, very strange segment. Balling definitely seems to have uh, a major issue with, with his former employer. I'd probably be disgruntled, too. But what he's saying doesn't make any sense at all. Let me know your thoughts. You can find me on Twitter at D Hell of a show for you today.
When we're talking about sleep, we always hear about how much sleep people get, but often neglected in the conversation is the quality of that sleep, which is just as important. And science shows that lowering your body temperature during sleep can help you be more rested and achieve better sleep. And that's where our sponsor Chili Sleep comes in. Chili Sleep makes customizable climate controlled sleep solutions to help you improve your sleep. Comes in two varieties, the Uller sleep system and the cube sleep system. That's what I have on my bed. Both are hydro powered, temperature controlled luxury mattress pads. You can make your bed as cold as 55 degrees. I choose 60. You can make it as hot as 115 degrees if that's your thing. I don't feel hot anymore at night. No more sweating. I'm sleeping better and I love it. I also have the chili sleep chili blanket, which helps keep me cool on top as well. They'll give you 20 percent off everything when you go to chilisleep.com slash Pacman. The link is right underneath this video.